moving on to our special series. Ten states are in the grip of a drought and Telangana is one of them. Crop damage, dry bore wells and mounting debt are forcing farmers to commit suicide. Deepthi Bhatini brings us this report from Medag and Varangal in Telangana, where over 70 farmers have reportedly committed suicide till April this year. Kajwel, a village in Telangana's Medak district, is home to 250 families whose income is entirely dependent on agriculture. But the drought has thrown this village into despair. Villagers like 33-year-old Thirupatamma face a daily battle to put food on the table. Thirupatamma has not been able to go to her farm after her 40-year-old husband, Ramlu, hanged himself on the 11th of April, just two days after Ugadi or the New Year festival celebrated across the state. Thirupatamma's son, Ajay, had come home after finishing his board exams to find the dead body of his father hanging from a tree. The family says a damaged cotton crop and a dry bore well led Ramulu, a tenant farmer, to end his life. Now, Tirupatamma is left with 6 lakh rupees debt and two children to take care of. The people from whom we took loans are now asking me to repay. Where do I get 6 lakh rupees from? I have nothing left to repay loans. I have lost my husband, the one person who was my caregiver. They said I need to find a way to repay. How am I supposed to make that happen? Bearing the same name as Thirupatamma's dead husband, but facing an equally uncertain future, is 50-year-old daily wage labourer Ramalu. With damaged crop, a dried up bow well and surmounting debt, he has given up on his farmland and taken to daily labour under the MNREGS to make ends meet. While he is meant to get 150 rupees per day, the money is yet to be credited to his account. He is now looking for hope outside India. I am thinking of going to Dubai as construction worker. Agents said it would cost me around 60,000 rupees. But that also seems bleak right now as I am over 50 years old. In Telangana post bifurcation, from Jan 2014, 2,152 farmers have killed themselves. Till April this year, the state had recorded 290 suicides. In Medak alone, 322 farmers killed themselves since 2014 and this year alone. 47 suicides have been reported. Districts like Nalgonda have seen 61 suicides, while Karimnagar has registered 47 and Barangal 38 till April this year. 1.4 million people have migrated from the worst affected districts of Mahbubnagar, Rangareddy, Medak, Nizamabad and Adilabad. The government has been promising to provide relief, but the ground reality paints a different picture. Rising temperatures, dried up bore wells, crops damaged, forced to sell livestock. These are just some of the reasons why some of the farmers are now turning into laborers and others are taking the drastic step to kill themselves. From Jangao in Telangana, Deepti Bhattini.